guys welcome back to my channel i am so happy to be back you guys i missed you so 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 much and i am so sorry for not uploading in probably two to three months um right around the pandemic started right around when that started um it was a little bit before covid hit but honestly like after that it was just a lot of like managing emotions and trying not to go crazy um you didn't miss much it was a lot of quarantining um a lot of cooking a lot of eating a lot of just you know bettering yourselves through quarantine and if you are still in quarantine hang in there hang in there you got it um but yes it was just a lot of just handling everything and just being able to react to that as a normal person which i am um i'm very blessed to have that so thank you guys for allowing me to take some time off i kid you not i had like a full high school schedule <laughs> every day um but yes i want to thank you guys so much for having your patience and I just want to let you guys know before we continue, um, something that is very important to me is just to let you guys know that um, in this channel and in my house and in my heart, Black Lives Matter. I want you guys to be able to feel safe and loved and all of the above and just know that I am with you and we are in this together. So... I am sending you so much positivity, love, and, you know, I just want you guys to know that you have a full supporter and we, I'm sure like many other people, we are just trying to educate ourselves and just to be better, just to be better. So you guys, I, I just love you so much and I hope that if you are going through a very hard time that you find you know that my channel is safe for you and that I want you to know that things will get better. We as a nation will do better for you. So I'm sending you a lot of healing thoughts and energies. So with that being said, you guys, let's get into this video. For my first video back, I wanted to be of help to you guys. I wanted to share my YouTube setup for you guys who are looking to create a channel. You are looking to create content for Instagram or like your own YouTube channel for your business, your hobbies, for your passions. And that is what I'm here to do. I'm just here to share all of my equipment with you and just kind of see if you like this series. There is so much more that goes into being a YouTuber and creating content than you guys know. And there are so many, so many videos on the internet about this. And trust me, I probably went through the majority of them trying to figure this out by myself. So I, you don't have to do that because I'm here for you. So I want to show you guys my setup for this video and show you guys where I got everything, how I set it up. And yeah, so if you want to know how to um, get your own YouTube setup for your YouTube channel or your business, then keep watching this video and I will show you all of my secrets. All right, guys, so the best way to show you the setup is through tunnel vision. So, what's up, guys? <laughs> All right, so I'm recording on my little, um, it, this camera that I'm recording on is the Sony A5100, and this one is more of a vlogging camera it's a travel camera it's very light it's nothing compared to that big boy up there yes so this is what we are filming on and i'm gonna stop the top camera but first things first let me show you guys so 
you see this is my laptop and I have it connected to my camera. So whenever you hear someone talking about the viewfinder, this is what they are talking about. So hey guys, quick note. So when I talk about the viewfinder, most people actually use a computer monitor or a smaller TV of sort. Since I don't have a monitor or a computer monitor or a smaller TV, what I actually use is my laptop. Or um, I believe you can use anything that has that HDMI output. So I encourage you guys to use whatever you have, especially if you have a laptop, so easy to use. While I'm recording up here, I'm kind of checking the camera and my viewfinder to make sure everything is even, even Steven and everything is balanced out. So I usually use this and I just connected with a USB. And because the Apple computer um, only has the C port, um, I needed to buy this adapter to connect to the USB to connect to the micro um, HDMI. I know it's all craziness, but I will link everything in the bio, you guys. So let's stop that camera and start recording on this one. Bye! And then to stop it, I just go right here. So this is the um, the EOS utility. So whenever I go on here, I can just see myself. And I can just like see how my video is going. You can start and stop it. From here, when you stop it, you just stop the recording. And if your camera shuts down, it will shut down completely. So... Let's just close this out. And so my camera stopped recording. If that sees, if you guys can see that. So it gives you an option of downloaded what you just recorded or you can just cancel it because you have your memory drive up there. Um, and then this is the little thing that you see up here. So other than that, that is what I use as my viewfinder. So the camera that I record with is the um, Canon 80D, like you guys see right here. It's the Canon 80D. It really does a really great job. Um, it, I really like the picture quality because before the Canon 80D, I was recording my videos on my tablet. And then before that, um, actually before the Canon 80D, I was recording my videos on this camera. And then I started recording my videos on my tablet. So you guys have options on what you guys want to record on as far as your setup to when you are first beginning your YouTube career. You don't have to spend a ton of money. Like I said, I first started um, on my tablet because I was like, you know what? I need like, um, like a computer type. But then soon, even though it was like okay quality, you know, to make videos with, I just kind of wanted to do a little bit more than what the tablet allowed me to. So I ended up getting the Sony A5100. The problem with this camera that I'm recording on is that it gets hot. And once it gets hot, it shuts down. So that's why you only use it for like vlogging type, right? Because usually when I sit down and record my beauty videos or my vlog videos, well, I think vlog videos are fine, but when I sit down to record my beauty videos, it takes probably like two hours, two and a half, three, depending on it. So it kept shutting down and down and down. And finally, I just decided just to make the investment and purchase the ADD. All right, so now we have normal lighting. And I, what you guys see here is my three-fold setup. So I have my ring light behind my camera and I have these two LED lights. They are massive. They have so much power, but I find that because now this is my recording space. So there's a bed here now. Chippy's right there, but then my desk where I record everything is right on the little corner. Now, this is clearly not because I don't have the space for it because I, we decided to turn this room into a bedroom for our guests. 
Um, so this is more of a choice. Trust me, I started off with a huge setup. A huge setup. I will show you. I even have two massive box lights that um I don't know like I don't know if I want to get rid of them because I know that I can use them for other purposes but my setup kept shrinking and shrinking and shrinking because I wasn't sure that I needed such an elaborate setup but if you guys have minimal um, money to spend what I suggest you get is the ring light if you have to choose out of everything choose a ring light and even if you have like your phone now the phones are amazing if you have like the new phones or whatever like you can definitely use that it's just editing editing is what's going to be a little bit more difficult if you have Final Cut Pro and a laptop, you can just airdrop those videos and you can record them like normal. Sometimes my videos are like phone videos whenever I vlog or when I try to put them together at least. All of my workout videos, some of them actually, um, most of them are uh, phone videos. So you guys have options. Now I'm just here to tell you what works, what currently works for me. I really do love the ADD and even though it's not like 4k video i don't see myself moving from this camera to the i think it's like the canon 5d mark 5 um because that's like top notch that's at least like three thousand four thousand dollars now if you have that money to spend definitely it is an investment i think all of like my setup from trials and tribulations and just figuring out what i liked and what i didn't like it's very pricey so I will link all of the information um, where I got all of my products um, down below in the description area. I want you guys to have all the information and I will offer links. Everything is off of Amazon, just so you guys know. Um, Amazon is great. So my ring light is a newer, that's the brand, newer ring light. And it is the, it is not the... 18 inch I believe I believe it's the 18 inch um it's the bigger one so that is that and then these I forgot what the name of them but they are so powerful oh my gosh that is how powerful they are and I will show you guys the difference so those are the lights and I feel like they are blending so the difference between these two and the ring light is that they are way more powerful and honestly I feel like if you just have one of these lights and um your phone I think you're really good to start off your YouTube um creator uh journey or the process at least so if you are down to invest some money, I definitely recommend these two. Um, however, here's the however. I feel like I can use these two in my camera alone. The only thing is, is that I like my setup to be nice and bright. So you see the bigger YouTubers that they have like the huge box lights, right? They have the soft lights on the side. Then they have like the big ones like stacked up and it gives light from all the area. So whenever you're creating, you need light light to shadow all over your area right so you need light in the front most importantly you need light on the sides and if you're able to you need light up over the top so what I have done is I just have the tri lights and I feel like that just creates when I sit down that just really lights all areas of my face and it creates shadows where they are needed right so minimal shadows um and that is what i use so i do like using these three lights um and like i said like look at the space my space is very small this is just a desk that i got from target all my like brushes and stuff that i use um but i normally keep everything organized inside the closet so the tripod I ordered the camera and then I ordered um, a camera tripod off of Amazon. The H, the mini HDMI cord is just essential to be able to link up to your computer so you can see, so you don't have to worry about like seeing your reflection off the tiny little, um, 
the tiny little viewfinder on the camera. So that's definitely a big plus. Um, what else? Okay, so something I definitely, definitely suggest is a boom arm and mic. So for a while, I struggled with audio setup. You guys, if you guys been following me for the longest time, I have gone through the most with my audio and I finally gave in and I bought the Rode mic because I tried a cheapy mic that wasn't like the Rode mic and it like broke after a couple months and it was just like a cheaper version, not like cheap cheap but it was like a cheaper version and honestly i hated struggling with audio because if you don't have good audio it's gonna make the person watching your videos log off like they won't finish watching your video because of that audio just sounding so like muffled or like so much white noise in the background so i decided to make the purchase there we go. So I just ended up making the purchase. Now I did have to purchase this cable separately, which is the one that allows it to tie over the boom arm and into the camera for perfect audio. You always wanna make sure that it is all the way in because if you don't, if it's not plugged in here and it's not plugged in here, what will happen is that you will record and there will be no audio. So. You guys already know the quality of the camera. I think if you are looking to kind of have um, better quality in the camera, I definitely like recommend the 80D. There are other ones that you can purchase, like the, you can purchase the, um, what is it called? The 6T, 6T. I think it's like a whole creator kit. You can definitely purchase that. Um, but yes, that is my current setup. And I, from time to time, sometimes I do use the shadow boxes. But honestly, like for right now where I'm filming, um, it's just not something that is working for the current setup that I have. So when, you, when I record my videos, this is what you guys see. You guys, if you guys like all the information that I'm giving you and you want further knowledge on how to start up your YouTube channel and want more information on how I do things with my background and how I edit, tips and tricks that I do um, for my channel in particular, for beauty videos, workout videos, or vlogging, please let me know in the comments below, like this video, and I will keep this series going and give you guys all of my tips and tricks and secrets to running your very own YouTube channel and this is the quality that the camera uh, the Sony a5100 gives you so this camera in particular is really great for vlogging um, also really great for like workout videos you know especially if you have to mount it on a tripod and record yourself this is a great one the only thing is is that this one does not have a mic output it just has a little in um, built-in mic, so you can't attach this big guy or anything else to it. I think the Sony A6100 does, so that's a big difference. There's a price difference as well, so I'm just letting you guys know. Um, but yeah, so that is my setup, you guys. With that being said, I'm going to end the video here. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to comment down below. And of course, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and like this video. Uh, join our familia here on YouTube. And as always, you guys, don't forget to subscribe, turn on that notification bell. I appreciate you guys so much. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. Mm -hmm. Adiós.